top of the morning to you. Are you feeling Irish today? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is March 17th, and all around the world, people that aren't even Irish celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And today at Porter Libraries Mix It Up, we are going to make some things that are green, and you might see some shamrocks. So what is St. Patrick's Day? This is a book at the library that answers a lot of those questions about St. Patrick's Day. The first page I wanted to show you looks like this. Do you see all those green rolling hills? Green stands for Ireland's fields. Shamrocks stand for good luck. So what is a shamrock? Should we make a shamrock? I have some shamrocks behind me. And the first shamrock I'm gonna show you looks like this. It almost looks like three hearts stuck together. Some people call these clovers. They say it's really lucky if you find a four-leaf clover. Well, I wanted to show you how I made my shamrock wreath with a paper plate. You just take a regular paper plate and cut the middle out, and I painted mine green. And then you can cut some shamrocks and glue them all around your plate. I even had some cupcake wrappers that had shamrocks on them. And I glued those around my paper plate too. And then for the gold, I put a little penny on it. A little copper penny would stand for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So see if you can make a little shamrock wreath at home. Hang it up at your house for good luck on March 17th. Now if you don't have any clovers or shamrocks at your house, let's paint some. I have a piece of paper here. This is just some white paper. And I needed some green paint. So the first step is to use a paper plate and your green paint, and just put some paint on your plate. It doesn't take very much. And then we're gonna talk about the different ways to make a shamrock. I found an old pop bottle. You could use a water bottle, and it has to have the lid on it, because you're gonna use the lid to make some stamps. Get, your, get it all painted, and then one, two, three stamps will be your shamrock. Let me make another one. One, two, three. There is another shamrock. And then you could use, then you could use a marker to make the shamrock stem, just like that. That's one way to make a shamrock. What if we used toilet paper rolls? These are just cardboard tubes that I put a rubber band around, so now I have three. One, two, three. And do the same thing. This is a stamp that could be for shamrocks. You wanna dip it in the green paint, and then there's one. Oh. Get some more paint on that one. Two, three. And remember, if you want to give it a, a little stem, just use your own marker or crayon, right? There's another way to make shamrocks. What if I did the same thing with some corks? I have these little corks that I'm going to use a rubber band to hold them together. And I'll dip the corks in the paint and push down. Oh, this one works really well. Those are some nice, nice shamrocks. I'll give those some stems. Now the best shamrocks I'm gonna make are gonna be out of green peppers. Do you have any green peppers at home? 
I took a green pepper and I cut it in half. And I'm just gonna use half of my pepper to dip in the paint. I'm not gonna eat this when we're done, huh? Oh, and look, it makes a shamrock too. This looks like a whole field of shamrocks. I bet you could make some shamrocks with things that you have around the house. They're awfully green. At the library, we have some books that talk about all the different things that are green. This book is about colors. What do you see that's green? Of course, the grass, maybe some cabbage and peas and a tree. Have you ever had a Brussels sprout? Those are green. And there is a four leaf clover. That is a shamrock with four leaves. Cucumbers, there's lots of food that are green. Pears. Something else you could do at home is to sort some Lucky Charms. This is a very sweet cereal. And I found this at the grocery store. And if you have any Lucky Charms at home, another fun thing to do is to sort the marshmallows. Let's see what's inside. I'm gonna put some on a plate. So here are my Lucky Charms. And if you have some tweezers at home, you could use tweezers. If you don't have any tweezers, you could even use a clothespin. And moms and dads, the act of pinching with your thumb and forefinger like this is really good for muscle, pre, um, your fine motor strength. So the more you can exercise those muscles, the better. So I'm going to use these pinchers and I'm going to separate my marshmallows. I have some blue and pink. Here's a rainbow. And keep going. Try to find all the blue marshmallows, all the pink marshmallows. These marshmallows are green. I'm going to put those in a different pile. I found some green marshmallows. Here's a yellow marshmallow. And when you sort like this, this is another great pre-kindergarten skill. Here's another pink and a marshmallow. Which one has the most? Sure, I have the most blue over here. I only found two, two rainbows, but I get, but you could keep sorting and sort all the marshmallows like this. Try that at home with some Lucky Charms cereal. There's a leprechaun there. The leprechaun lives in Ireland and leprechauns are little men in Irish stories. They play tricks on people. These things make people think of Ireland. These are all the symbols of Ireland, like shamrocks and leprechauns, and all those green shamrocks. Hi, top of the morning to you. I'm Miss Nancy, and I'm so happy you're able to join me for the second half of Mix It Up. Miss Holly demonstrated some science experiments, and I'm gonna show you a couple crafts you can make at home and also we're gonna sing a couple songs about green and leprechauns and rainbows. So um, all you'll need today for your crafts is either some colored pencils, crayons or markers, some paper. You can just have, if you have white paper at home, that's fine. You can, you can color the white paper, um, any of these colors that we're working with today, the colors of the rainbow, and a glue stick and some scissors would be helpful as well. All right, so we're gonna start out with if you're happy and you know it. All right, so sing it with me, ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you like green, stomp your feet. If you like green, stomp your feet. 
If you like green, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. If you like green, stomp your feet. If you love rainbow shot, hooray, hooray. If you love rainbow shot, hooray, hooray. If you love rainbow shot, hooray, shot, hooray. If you love rainbow shot, hooray, hooray. That was awesome. Very nice job. I wanted to share with you uh, one of the kits that we have here in the library. And this particular one is a J toy or juvenile toy kit about colors. And you can find this in our preschool area. And I thought this might be fun to share with you today because it has the book here, my very first book of colors by Eric Carle. And I, I pulled, um, put a rubber band here so you can see because we're talking about the color green today. But it has various colors and different objects in here that you can move the pages back and forth. And like, for example, blue here, and you try to match the color with the picture at the top. All right, so that's one of the items in there. Also, there's an ice cream cone, pretend, that we can build a rainbow with. All right, the colors of the rainbow. So we have different color scoops here. We're gonna start out with red, then orange, we're building our rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And there we have a beautiful ice cream cone with the colors of the rainbow. Let's sing a rainbow song. It goes like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Makes the rainbow bright. Very nice. Good job, everybody. Also in this kit, there are some blocks, some building blocks, and I just chose uh, these particular ones because again, it's the colors of the rainbow, and let's stack them together. Ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, whoa, and purple. And we made a beautiful rainbow with um, these blocks. So that turned out pretty cool, huh? Excellent. I also want to show you a craft that we can make together. And basically all you're gonna need is some white paper and you could just cut out or draw a shape of a cloud. It can be any shape that you would like. And then we're gonna have strips of paper that you can see here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, that I'm going to just glue to the bottom of my cloud. So I'm gonna get my glue stick and put some glue on here. And I'm gonna start out with my red and then my orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right. <laughs> So I'm gonna glue this last one on. I made mine a little close, but that's all right. There's no right or wrong to this. And I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see my rainbow cloud. Very good. And I put a little, poked a little hole in here and put a piece of string so you can make it like a little windsock or maybe a mobile. And it's really kind of a fun thing you can make and put on your doorknob or hang it up on your refrigerator. And you can decorate your Cloud, maybe put your name on your cloud and add some sparkles and colors. So that's one of our crafts I wanted to share with you. All right. So this song is um, from the, the tune of The Farmer and the Doll, and it goes like this. The shamrock is green, the shamrock is green. Hi ho, St. Patrick's Day, the shamrock is green. So you can see we have a shamrock here on this hat right here. And I have some shamrocks on my necklace. And those are supposed to be good luck, right, for St. Patrick's Day. The next craft I would like to share with you is how to make a paper leprechaun. All you'll need is some white construction paper or white copier paper will be fine. And you can color that paper um, any color you'd like. You can use your imagination. This particular one, I used orange and green. 
So um, I will show my example using those colors. You can first cut out a shape of a face or head. My, mine is a kind of an oval shape, or you can do a round shape or even a square shape. Then I cut out a square that's gonna be part of the leprechaun's hat, and then a strip, almost like a long rectangle, that's gonna be the brim of the hat. So you'll need these three basic shapes to start. And I have an example of one I started here for you so you can kind of get an idea of leprechaun. So I put on part of his hat, I glued that on, and made one of the eyes and part of his beard. So I wanted to show you how to do the rest of it. So again, if you have orange paper, or again, you colored maybe some paper orange, what we're basically gonna do is do some tearing. So this is kind of fun because you can tear it however you want and however long you want. These are gonna be the parts of the leprechaun's beard. So again, it's just a very simple. No right or wrong on this. You can make whatever length you'd like. And I'm just going to do a few more to show you how to tear this paper. It tears pretty easily. As you can see, I'm going to make a thicker one here. Whoops. <laughs> and a little longer. And you can always tear it to make it a little bit shorter too to fit your leprechaun's beard. And even for his eyebrow, we're going to make an eyebrow. So let's tear a few more. All right. Now I'm going to get my glue stick and I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see it a little bit better. Make some room here. All right. So get my glue and you can see I'm just going to put a little glue here at the bottom. I'm going to put a strip of the torn uh, green, I'm sorry, I mean orange construction paper. We're gonna build his beard. And if you need more strips, don't worry, we can tear as many as you'd like. You'll see it's filling in very nicely. Looking more and more like a beard. Very good. And now I'm going to put another eyebrow on. Let me find a smaller one. Here we go. And we're going to draw another eye. So just like a circle. And I'm going to color in the center. Very nice. And let's give him a nice big smile. Maybe a nose. You can do, I'm going to do a little round nose here. Give him a bigger smile. There we go. Excellent. Now, with that rectangle shape, uh, where did I put it? Here it is. We're going to glue this on for the brim of his hat. So let me put some glue on here. And there we have the brim of the hat. And we have a leprechaun. Are you ready to sing one more song? This one's called Can't, Can't, Can't Catch Me to the tune of Skip to My Lou. Here we go. Can't, can't, can't catch me. Can't, can't, can't catch me. Can't, can't, can't catch me. For I'm wearing green, you see. Just like a leprechaun, right? Awesome. Well, I just wanna thank you so much for joining me and Miss Holly today for Mix It Up. We had a great time. We hope you did too. And we hope you can see rainbows in the future and maybe even a pot of gold. So see.